Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute, and this is Morning Brew about the crew. So the season has begun. What we have waited for for months is now here, baseball. Live Brewers baseball, we can actually talk about things that are happening in the games, and that's exactly what we're going to do today on today's episode uh, I'm still fighting off the cold, so if there's sniffles, I apologize. Uh, again, early morning shows, I'm not not quite fully at it. So here we go. Uh, so first I want to thank everyone for a 1,000 subscribers, for the people who watch this show on a weekly basis, watch my episodes. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, there's a new way to support the channel. Actually, it's been here all, all along. I just uh, updated recently with some new levels. Uh, so if you feel like being an awesome person, go over, check out the Patreon page. It's linked down below in the links with all the links to my social media. Again, guys, it's just, it's another way to support me if you feel generous. So uh, today we have a matchup starting momentarily. Uh, this video is coming late. I apologize. Uh, Freddie Peralta versus Luis Castillo. The Brewers are going for a sweep here. Uh, we've had a series of good good matchups so far this season so everything's rolling at this point uh we'll hope to continue to keep it rolling uh cory knabel is going to undergo surgery today tommy john uh i expected this since they announced the injury uh they haven't made a signing in lieu of it uh they got alex wilson but that's okay uh i think at this juncture we're just hoping for a recovery uh for Knable and hoping he can come back and play for the Milwaukee Brewers again. This is his second surgery. I have mentioned that multiple times. Second Tommy John for Corey Knable. Um, we have now won four games of this season by one run. Uh, so that's very, very good. Um, but I'd also like to see these bats come together at the same time. Uh, I think we're starting to see the bats come together. We're starting to see these bats come together. Uh, you know, you ground all, string and hits. Arcia popped a home run last night. Very good things. Um, I really don't... It's early. I always say this, and my wife gets on me about it, but it's early in the season enough that... You know, they don't need to be hitting 400. Not everyone's going to start hitting four home runs like Christian Yelich. Um, it, it's 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 a good start. It's a good start for these guys. Um, it was good to see Grandal get three hits in a game. Uh, like I said, the RC a home run last night proved to be the winning offense. So, good stuff. Um, and obviously, right now, they're working on managing these young arms. Uh, Corbin Burns... Albeit gave up some home runs, he had twelve strikeouts the other night in his start. So I mean, where do we where do we give and take? It's gonna gonna be what happens. You know that was a blow up game. Um, you know there's there's gonna be blow up games. We're gonna have bad outings. Um, we're not always gonna gonna win every 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 day. So we can't go one sixty two and all. That's just not gonna happen. So. It's just managing the team and managing the, the bullpen and everything accordingly. And I think they're doing a good job of that, and they're showing that. Um, I saw some stat, like, out of the last 32 regular season games, I think we've won 28. So, I mean, that's pretty darn good at this point. Uh, David Stearns did note in an article from uh, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel that he is open to start signing these young players and extending them. Uh, that's kind of the trend right now in baseball. If you guys don't follow baseball as a whole, the trend right now is the Boston Red Sox and other teams are locking up these guys for long term, uh, signing them for deals, which is a good thing. I mean, it's good for baseball. We avoid the... Um, Aiden says hi. Uh, we avoid the long term... <laughs> the free agency market, which, as we all know... Aiden enough uh, as we all know has been a a rough go over the last two years and I don't think it's going to get any easier anytime soon you still have big names like Kimbrel and Keichel 
sitting at home when the regular season is rolling on. So, I mean, as as the season rolls, those two will probably sign, my guess. Uh, I Or they'll sit at home, which I guess they're asking for too much money. Uh, Jeremy Jeffress is going... Jeremy Jeffress and Jimmy are going to be starting to participate in minor league uh, games and stuff like that. Again, we're still expecting Jeffress in April. I think they can do two weeks uh, minimum. So... They're expecting him late April. No real updates on timetable with Jimmy. I think they're just playing that by ear. Um, power rankings. If you go on Trade Rumors, you can see we are number eight for the first week. I know we've only played a handful of games, but I still think that's a cool update. Uh, home run totals. This is going to be a quick update. You know, you've got Yelich with four. Moose with two. And then R.C. has got one, Shaw's got one, Brawny's got one. I mean, so we've we've got some home runs going. The 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 power bats are there. It's just gonna take time. It always does. Pitching, uh, Shasin is two and zero. Uh, Josh Hader has four saves. Davies came out and pitched a strong inning. The 12, 12 strikeouts, as I mentioned, from Corbin Burns the other day. I am really sorry, guys. I'm just sniffly. But, I mean, I, I think you're going to see more of that coming, more good news on that front. I, I, I like where these young arms are going. Freddie struggled out of the gate. One of the things I want to say, though, I'm going to take, take a minute to just drop a rant, and this really bothers me. Because watching that game with Freddie Peralta, game two, I was very distraught by the fact that you know, a young pitcher struggles and they don't go out and, like, try and calm them down. You know, no pitching, mound visit. I think with the limit of mound visits and stuff like that, that's bad for these young arms and these young guys. You know, for Yasmani or Manny Pena, who know these guys, they can go out and talk to them and try and calm them down. I mean, they build these relationships if you listen to the game yesterday, they talked about the or Monday night. Sorry, Monday night. They talked about the relationship Davies built with Yasmani. They have those friendships and those relationships because they work so closely together all season. And for Grandal or Pena to be able to go out and call, try and calm them down a little bit, I think you're better off. I mean, yeah, that strike zone was terrible the other night when Freddie pitched, but. I, I, go out there, talk to him, calm your guy down. I just, I'll stop the rant, but I, I think that they should, they should, they should execute, and especially you don't use five mound visits. I'm sorry, you don't. I don't think we ever got close, but again, I digress. All right, guys, there's gonna be more videos coming. Uh, I am. Back feeling a little bit better. I'm not totally out of the woods here yet, but you can hear the sniffle in my voice. I apologize if this video was not for good because of it. Uh, a little hesitation, a little pause. Not my normal speed. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share the video. This has been Morning Brew about the crew. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute.